Yep, 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 yep. There we go. This one. Look at this mirror. It's the one we just landed. So, we've decided to make the move, and look what I found. How's it? <laughs> so, um, like I told you guys earlier, we really battled at Hengelwerd. That silkweed was just, the, it's, it's become known as the green monster. <laughs> yeah. We really battled with it. We still got the battle scars to prove hands are properly banged up. Um, I brought him some cold cream, so. Yeah. He should be fine tomorrow. Go to this <laughs> game, get yourselves. That stuff really works. <laughs> so, um, where are we? We are at Sidwere. A really nice resort. I've never fished here before. And um, I met the owner this morning and uh, he said uh, he likes clear water. So, his staff was here cleaning the hyacinths and they raked out some of the silkweed. Well, there's still a little bit, but it's it's a hell of a lot better than anywhere else. Right? Compared to any 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 other bank on this whole dam, this is really clean. I'm I'm gonna pan to quickly show you guys. Look at all the hyacinths next to the bank, and then there's basically no silkweed in the water. They really do a lot of effort here. It's a very friendly old worm. Yes, and uh, the prices are very. Uh, Fair. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, really, really not expensive to, to spend no. two or three nights. So uh, we're very happy. We've got some great news. Uh, like I said, our first full day, and we've already had well, I think eight we've runs. Eight runs, four fish. Unfortunately, we did no, lose five fish. Five fish. Five, five fish. fish. Unfortunately, we we did lo uh, lose a few. Now I put that down to the fact that we are fishing at extreme distances. I'm talking in excess of 850 meters. Um, it's the furthest I've ever fished in my life. Yeah, I I always say if I can't fish at, at closer than 250 meters, I pack up. But uh, I decided <laughs> no, let's let's give it a bash. Yeah, look, unfortunately, um, this area of the dam, we are fishing. We're not going to catch the fish on our side of the dam. We've got to go to the far margins. Mm. The fish are on the cusp of, of spawn. So, in other words, we are in that pre-spawn um, no. sort of time. Um, so, yeah, we've got to target them in, in the shallower water. We, we do have rods out in the deep water. Those are the only rods that haven't produced any fish yet. One fish. One fish, and it wasn't even a big fish. No, 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 it was, it was only about fish. eight kilograms, um, wow. about 17 pounds. So the real fat, fat fish we've caught this fall was in like two meters of water. Yeah. So that says a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we've got, like I said, five fish in the slings. We've got a bit of, bit of work to do to film them, take some nice, pho nice photographs. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think let's cut to that. Let's get it over and done with, get some fresh baits out. And hopefully we, at the end of the day, we are both here to catch a 40. That's the that's aim. So that, that's almost 37 goal. pounds is not 40, it's so we're going to keep 40. on pushing. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm what they call in Afrikaans a gavi. I've given, given two or three 40s around my rods, but uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this time, this time round, <laughs> I'll catch my own 40 on my own rod. <laughs> anyway, guys. Enjoy um, what we are about to show you. Some really cool fish, some really big fish.
out this for Ruru Copies Magic. Just shy of 37 pounds, caught on the new spinner hook and the spinner hook sections from Corda. Absolutely incredible. And then with the new bloodworm kickers. So this is absolutely incredible, but not big enough. Obviously, we've got to make sure that we get that Magic 40. So this one is going back. And then obviously there's a couple of smaller ones. One just over 35 pounds, one just over 34, and a couple of upper 20s. But this is beautiful. you a few characters and I was about that for a character not quite the 40 pounder that I wanted but uh, as the saying goes when they're as beautiful as this size doesn't really matter does it <laughs> I'm not lucky with mirrors in in this lake for this dam this is my second ever mirror from Ritter copies so um, in this case I really don't mind the size especially when it's, I don't know what you can call this. Is it a fully scaled? Is it a normal mirror? I'm not sure, but it's damn pretty. That's for sure. I've had this one on those spinner hooks that Gilbert mentioned earlier. And the size four, of course, with the platform kicker, the high grip hook bead, and a 25 pound boom. Uh, myself and Gilbert will have a sit down and um, show you guys a bit more in, in, in depth and detail um, what all these new products are about. Now, together with this little stunner, I've had another character, ones which I am fairly lucky with in the copies in the form of a pot belly. I've had a few. Now imagine a 40 pound pot belly or a 50 pound pot belly. Jeez. But yeah, for now I'm gonna appreciate this mirror and um, think about redoing the rods they've been quiet for the last four or five hours um but yeah i think there's a few more on the card we've got to catch the sport we just have to <laughs> I don't have the entire weed bed here, but it feels really, really heavy. Or the dam prop. <laughs> the prop from the dam. <laughs> How's that for a proper setting whilst playing a fish? Sun setting in the background. We just started a fire for a braai. They call that heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. Only in South Africa, eh? <laughs> Let's see if we can get this fish landed. It's still a long way out. We are fishing mm, those reeds over there. That's where this rod dropped. About 850 meters out. <coughs> and um, of course, we are using the gear adequate for the situation. What are we using here? I've got From the Gilbert. Daiwa Infinity. 12 foot 3.75s um, and I've got the emblem 45 loaded with believe it or not 15 pound Daiwa J braid and I believe there's in excess of a thousand two hundred meters on the spool so where the fish are hiding we will <laughs> catch them they, will be <laughs> they can't hide from us not with the proper gear. <laughs> Let's get this one safely in the net. 
Well, would you guys believe it? We've got a double up. Two infinities bending. How's about that? Both feel like really big fish, decent fish. Gilbert says it feels like an absolute hippo. He's busy pulling through the water and this also feels decent. So I'm gonna put this phone down and try and land this fish. Rather, let's focus to land this fish. Oh, look at that sunset. Oh, heaven on earth, loving it, loving life. Gilbert doing the honors of brying our. What are we having tonight? We are having um, chicken sausages. Chicken sausages, and if I saw, if my eyes didn't deceive me, Brybroik is there in the background. There you go. <laughs> Brybroik is. <laughs> so, you guys just saw us land. Well, you saw me land a one fish, but we landed two upper 30. Uh, commons, they they look like they could basically be brothers or sisters for that matter. Or nephews. <laughs> or nephews. <laughs> um, interesting uh, fact though, um, they came from two spots about, what's it, 500 meters apart? Yeah, the one was in deeper water. The one was in deeper water, about six meters of water, and the other one was in two meters of mm. water. Basically on the same um, same hook baits. And you've got fish feeding in different zones at the same time, which is interesting. It's very interesting indeed. We just now got to figure out where those really big fish are feeding. Um, you know, we're not going to give up. We are yet to get those lines back, actually. Um, but first... You need to get something for the stomach. Yeah, we've been feeding the fish. But we they, haven't been feeding ourselves. ourselves. <laughs> exactly. So uh, yeah, we safely retained both those fish um, to show you guys in the morning. A stunning, stunning, stunning fish. So at first light, if we don't get interrupted by another run, we'll show you guys that fish. Yep. Um, but for now, we're going to enjoy the braai and um, a cup, um, cup of coffee. I'm going to start the kettle just now and then <coughs> I'm going to do the dirty deed of getting back out on the water to drop the lines. I'm going to get wet, I'm going to get cold, but it's totally worth it. So yeah, we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning. How's about that for a proper 30? This is one of the two fish you saw us play uh, last night. As the sun was setting, the double up, both the fish came on Gilbert's rods. He was busy playing one fish and his other rod rattled off. Um, both came in at over 30 pounds, this one being 34 pounds and something ounces, and the other one being 32 pounds and something ounces. Again, a bit boring at this stage, I know, but those new spinner hooks really nailed these fish. Um, uh, so, Gilbert's got his fish to show you guys. We caught a couple more during the night, smaller ones. Um, for now, get this fish back, let Gilbert do his thing, show you guys the other fish perhaps, and then get the rods back because there's some really big fish in the area.
something very special happen. Oh yes, indeed, indeed. I'm gonna leave the stage to you to explain exactly what happened. Well, I started fishing this venue 14 years ago, and then a big fish was seven kilograms. And of late, the guys have been catching bigger and bigger and bigger fish, and it's always been kind of a, a dream to catch a 40. Mm -hmm. So um, managed to better that even more with a fish of over 47 pounds. Um, and what is it? That, 46. 47.6 47.6 oh, okay. 21.050 oh, kilograms So it's not just the 40, it's a 20 it's kilo a fish proper 20 <laughs> kilogram fish So I'm well chuffed Well done Mark Wim. Thank you my friend <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, it was obviously a a very big moment We were actually having a lot I don't have on. a voice <coughs> <coughs> we so, were, yeah, excuse me We were actually having a, a lie down yes and that fish rudely interrupted our afternoon nap i didn't mind <laughs> not at all <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah well done there's some more big fish in the area so hopefully that's not the last one yeah yeah um but of I course think... we nailed it on that new spinner hook the mm. size two that's what the i one... used there and then the red um the bloodworm kicker from from porter yeah, the, the so. ones we showed you guys earlier. So, um, yeah, get to the shops, ask them about these products. If they don't have it in stock, we are the two guys that will be able to get it on the shelves for you. Um, and of but course, the outrageous orange. Don't forget that. Yeah. With, a, with the orange fake, fake corn on its head. Rudder copies Achilles heel. Yes. Yes. Sure. Awesome. All right, guys. So, um, let's cut to the scene where we reveal we reveal yes. this monster oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> yes Now there you have it. My sixes and sevens were turned around a bit. It's actually 46 pounds and seven ounces. 21,050 kilograms. What an absolute beast of a rudder copy stand. Wow, I don't have words. This is incredible. How was that for a proper day? I am finished. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. It is, uh, it takes a bit of a toll on you, um, you know, holding such big fish for the camera. Yeah, people think it's easy, you know, just a couple of snapshots, but you've got to get a lot of things right. And you have to also prioritize quality, uh, the, the, the safeguard of the fish safeguard of the fish at the same time we try and get the best quality content we can yeah. um, you know we've got different uh, formats uh, different devices we use to record these videos and photos and they've got to look the same and they've all got to look the same although again the premise of these vlogs is run and gun raw we yeah. still want to make it look good for, for you sure. guys at the end of the day so, so um, we made just it good we made it very good. It very good. <laughs> Just a quick recap of the day. That was actually the only fish for the day. Um, no, lying. Yes, it was the only fish for the for day. For the daylight hours. 
yes, except the ones that we showed you guys this, mo- guys this morning that we caught last night. Mm. Um, but for the daylight hours, that was the only fish. But <laughs> and tonight is <laughs> the full moon. Tonight is the full moon. Full moon, big common. So we got uh, we got a, a precursor. So we got the big common on the day of the full moon. Okay, but now let's catch a big mirror as well, please. <laughs> Cheers on that. Yeah. Uh, well, sun setting. We are enjoying a well-deserved Red Bull. Um, I think we'll get the prize started soon. Yeah, got to get it started. Yeah, but for now, just take a couple of minutes to chill. Take and in just the sunset. absorb this. This is so beautiful. Yeah. There's not uh, many places with sunsets like real no, copies, eh? without a doubt. Yeah, so um, we gonna pry, pry, reset the lines, reset the lines, and hope for a good night. Hope for a good night. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good to me. So we're gonna leave you guys for the moment, but catch up in the morning. <laughs> <coughs> those clouds hmm. yep 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 there we go this out This is an angry one. Taking line at distance. Well, we thought that was the end of the day. We thought we were gonna leave you guys there. But it seems like the fish has other plans. <laughs> this one's quite a distance out, just over 600 meters. And, um, ooh. There's a fair few snags out there. Uh, the area I'm dropping this rod in, it's very rocky, extremely rocky. So I'm actually a bit concerned about getting cut off. Luckily, I'm fishing very thick leaders. The 60 pound XT snag leaders also doubles over as a very good hookling material as well. But yeah, oh, this feels heavy. So I've reeled this fish the whole 600 meters. Funny, it actually remained on the surface for the whole fight. We could see it like 400 meters out. Seems like a good fish, that would. <laughs> oh, it is a good fish. <laughs> so Gilbert's quickly, at, it's about mm, 15 meters out. So Gilbert's quickly gonna net it for us. And Kijk uh, after you. Oh my word, look at the moon. Big moon, big moon, big carp. Oh, it's a good fish this. Yes, please, yes, in yes and you are going to have an attack because it's a mirror yes yes oh this could be a pb mirror oh my word yes you're not completely (coughs) a pb but it's a big mirror yes 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 what an end to the day what an end to the day this gives meaning to the definition prehistoric. Look at this mirror. It's the one we just landed. Proper wrinkly, odd shape, wide across the sol- sol- shoulders, shoulders. <laughs> Funny scale pattern, very wrinkly. Oh, just love it. It came in at 28 pounds and eight ounces. So not as big as I initially thought it was, but again, 
when they are um, as pretty as this, they don't always have to be big. Oh, so uh, we're gonna try and get a few photos of this. Light levels are fairly low. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do. For now, I'm just gonna enjoy my prize. pretty prehistoric mirror we actually decided to retain this fish because light levels were dropping and um, whilst we were busy trying to get photos and videos in the low light we had another run so we decided to retain this fish safely for the night to show you guys in the morning and of course to take some proper pics in the morning and um, just worth noting that when you are retaining fish during the night um, get up at regular intervals during the night to check up on the fish um <clears throat> but yeah oh super super oh there's another dolphin in the background super 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 stunning stunning fish caught on again the new spinner hooks on a new spot so um i think this fish has been with us for long enough so let's get it back in the water and get all of these rods redone Okay guys, so we thought we'd take a break from this manic action. Um, I don't know, can we call it a big hit? Can we call it big hit, big fishing? What do we call it? <laughs> this is a monstrous hit of fishing. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, it's, um, I, I would call it a session of a lifetime. Almost. Oh yeah, no, for sure. You, you only get this once in a blue moon and Definitely. You know, like you and I discussed, we took these couple of days off, obviously after all the trade shows mm. and, and the hectic action of, of you know, um, hard work, hard getting draft. all of the, the work done and all of the trade show orders sorted. Um, and, and knowing that after the trade show, um, the shops or the majority of the shops don't want to see uh, reps for a while. Exactly. Obviously, because <laughs> they've pretty much done their Christmas shopping. Um, and because, you know, last year and, and I think the last five years before that, um, it's been clinics and shop days and clinics and shop days, and you just don't get a chance to, to experience this, a uh, dam like Rurikopi's dam, pre-spawn, the fish are big, the conditions are right. Um, right. and, and, you know, you can't plan that over a weekend. Exactly. Yeah. So we took a bit of time for ourselves. 
um, a time to relax. But for anyone that thinks big carp fishing at this tempo is relaxing, mm. I've got some news for you. <laughs> it's not relaxing at all. But we love it. We wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, um, sure. So, like we said, we thought we'd quickly take a break to run you guys through all of the new quarter products that are now available in South Africa, of course, at your local to- uh, quarter stockist. And if they don't have it in stock, please ask for it. We'll sort them out. Um, I think let's start with the item that I was impressed by the most, and that's the new spinner hooks. Right. Now, the spinner hooks, the amazing thing about the spinner hook is if you look at it um, at first glance, you would think it is a curved shank hook. But this is a curved shank hook with a twist. It's got a very nice sweeping bend. It's got a straight point, which is ultra, ultra sharp, yes. honestly. Um, and then the, the eye is ever so slightly bent in. But the beauty of it, it's now available in sizes 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So for the competitive guys, the social guys, the guys that do it a bit more seriously, there's a size spinner hook to suit every eventuality. Now, I must say, the thing that stood out uh, with the spinner hooks for me in particular is the fact that they remain sharp. Um, yeah. Now, I'm known for one fish, uh, one hook, one fish, um, but I've pushed, pushed the spinner hook to five fish uh, on one hook this session. So that's I'm really impressed by that. So this is this is um, available at um, in in limited quantities because we took a gamble um, when we did the last tra- uh, 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 big indent order. These hooks just became available, and there wasn't time to get the shops to also um, uh, club in. So we, I think we ordered like uh, 150 packets of each, and I think if I'm not mistaken, on That's some of the well. on some of them there's only like 30 uh, 30 packets left in our stock after we've supplied um, the shop. So inquire about this. This is definitely a game changer. And then uh, on top of that, now these are not available as yet, but you know. Make sure that you make a mental note of this. This is the spinner hook sections. In other words, it's already got the uh, spinner swivel on with the ring. So all you need to do is just crimp your um, boom section on or tie a semi-stiff section on or whatever your preference is. Um, Or you just slide that kicker back a little bit, take the spinner swivel off, and just put your quick change um, setup on, slide it back on, and you've got a three perfectly ready-made rigs in a packet. And they spare mm. hook beads because what we do is, because we're using a tiger nut, we literally just cut the hook bead off, slide that off, put it back, take another hook, slide it back on, slide the, the, the whole system back on, and you're ready to fish. It's, so, it's a couple of seconds we back out in the boat, dropping the rigs. That really it. couldn't be any simpler. And then, of course, for the guys that use that don't use lead core, that prefer tubing, the new nano tubing is available. It is ultra heavy, beautiful, beautiful stuff. And um, I actually bought myself a couple of packets. I saw <laughs> just to because I, I want to go and fish Aqua Paradiso uh, using the the tubing. Uh, and see what difference that's got, especially on you know the the, the type of uh, or the method that we use exactly, um, yeah. with the hybrid lead lift. Um, I think this can this can also well. I, I fished advantage. I fished uh, tungsten tubing to great effect at Aquas. I'm pretty sure this being a bit less uh, or a bit more in in conspicuous rather. Um, yeah. I definitely think it would be an edge, and of course for the guys that likes casting. Um, it's a thinner diameter tubing, so it will definitely add meters to your cast as well. Perfect. And then another one I'm super excited about, the new goose. Starting from this one over here, the new Banoffee goo. Gilbert's got it there on the Milky Toffee pop-ups. 
this is amazing. It's I'm amazing. Say. I've paired the banoffee goo with the banoffee pop-ups. And I've actually had a couple world. of fish off that um, that one right-hand spot in the margin. A, a couple of good fish, yeah. I might add. Uh, the biggest one I've had on, on the banoffee with the, the banoffee pop-up, the milky toffee pop-up, I think was that 39? It was. It was, it was the, 39. the 39 that I had on the pop-up. Yeah, the fish and ritter copies do love their pop-ups and they do love their flavors. So, so Adrian was a little reason, bit naughty. Exactly. So for that reason, I've paired the Tutti Frutti pop-ups with the new passion fruit. And let me tell you guys, if you had it's smell a vision It's an amazing, it's an amazing. It, oh. Yeah, it's, I can't explain this. Um, this was a brand new tub. I've used about 30 pop-ups out of this tub. Just goes to show. Um, so yeah. New passion fruit goo goes really well with the new tutti frutti pop-ups and it doesn't take away from the color in fact i would say it adds a bit of um floral orange to the already yeah. floral orange pop-up sure okay and then the fruity la mer one i haven't used yet but um, i'm sure guys that fish places like donaldson yeah. barca Laurentia, those this sort of is places. a, a, a crow a uh, fruity krill. A fruity krill, yeah. And it's actually really, really nice. Carp haven, for the guys that likes to fish carp haven. This is something to consider. Yeah. And then um, I think that's about it. Yeah. Then another thing I want to show you guys quickly, an item we don't keep in stock because it's a very expensive item, but there's a very good reason for it being ex an expensive item. It's because it's a, a premium item and that's the new spring bonnet. So let me guys quickly show you, let me quickly show you guys what the spring bonnet's all about. So the spring bonnet, a thing of absolute beauty. We start from the exterior, you get the net bag, and together with the net bag, you actually get a stink bag sewed into the net bag, so you don't have to buy that separately. So if we take out the net pole, the first thing you will notice, it's extremely light, and extremely rigid so in other words when you go to net that fish this pole doesn't flex which is the issue with most nets um, and the main reason they break so if we look at the spreader block a machined high tensile military grade aluminium the best money can buy it's got the nice spring bow logo engraved into it with your nice little quarter accent then the top and then at the base of your spreader block it's reinforced because that's where most of your nets break so super 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 strong stuff this and then for the guys that likes to peg their nets into the ground after landing a fish it's of course got the stainless steel peg at the bottom again don't be afraid to peg this because it's made for the job extremely strong um, let me quickly grab the net out of the stink bag compartment again this is all just super super light so this is the 42 inch version and what you guys will notice is it's got an extremely deep net for the extremely big fish we catch in South Africa. <laughs> so with it being a spring bow net, it gets the name from the way the arms tension. So it's fairly easy to click that into place. And then if you guys look at the nice curve on the arms, just enough tension so that um, nothing breaks. It, it's, this is designed to be super, super, super durable, bulletproof. It's going to last you years. I can guarantee you that. Um, again, it comes in at a premium price, but it's a premium product. Now, the quick look at how deep the net is. I can literally scoop Gilbert up like that. But uh, yeah, probably one of my favorite pieces of kit at this stage we haven't used it this session uh because we were using the black widow the daiwa black widow and the daiwa cross cast net but on my next session i'll definitely
<laughs> How's about that for a brute of a Rudokopis comment? I think it's fitting to start off with the biggest of the six or seven fish we had in a manic spell of action. This one weighed in at 19.53 kilos. My biggest Rudokopis fish ever. My first 40. Well, <laughs> I've given away a few 40s, but it's the first 40 I actually catch on my rods. And um, no surprise, again, on the spinner hooks, size four, bloodworm kickers, and a little special tiger nut. Um, a certain worm, Loki Louise, gave us a visit. He came to drop off some very special feed, and I really just want to... Oh! <laughs> uh, I really just want to extend a very, 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 very warming thank you to Worm Lo for, uh, for the feed he brought us, because I really think that made a difference. We've caught, like I said, a couple of other fish. So um, enjoy the B-roll of those ones. For now, I'm gonna enjoy the stunning comment. Morning guys. How's it guys? So we've reached the last morning of our session. It's what? Just Almost after six. After six. Sun coming up there in the background. And um, just a quick morning update. We actually didn't redrop the, ro the rods last night. It was both myself and Wim Gilbert were knackered. Like we were properly finished. tired. Yeah. So as you can see there, no slings two rods out of the water. However, they are baited up. So um, I'm just enjoying a quick coffee. Likewise. And then um, I'll get the rods back for a last ditch attempt whilst um, Gilbert is cooking us a nice breakfast. breakfast. And then the packing up will commence. So yeah. Um, We'll keep you guys updated if anything happens from now till then. But yeah, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I, hope you, I hope you guys enjoy this type of content. Again, if you do enjoy it, like and subscribe, leave a comment, engage with us. And um, if there's anything else you guys want to see in this vlog. Even if you want to comment on his hairstyle. On his hairstyle. How's that for a Jeremy <laughs> Neutron hairstyle? <laughs> My morning face. Um, yeah, if there's anything else you guys want to see in this vlog, a bit more, uh, I don't know, like tips and tricks or anything else. Just we leave a comment. We will show you a couple of tips and tricks a little bit later on. Of course, yes, yeah. we will. Maybe a bit of Rick chat and, mm. uh, you know, stuff like that. But yeah. Um, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this and then we'll check out with you guys a bit later. Right guys, so that is it for this vlog. Myself and Gilbert are out. I'm on my way home. I've got to go repack, reorganize, because uh, oof, just got to navigate through this very narrow gate here because I am on my way yet another adventure for another two weeks leave so um, I'll definitely be taking you guys with in another vlog but for now we're signing out we hope you enjoyed this vlog um, if you did please like this video please remember to subscribe to the Kura South Africa carp fishing YouTube channel and leave a comment engage with us and we'll see you a bit later.